They have so many animals here. Eagles, ospreys, owls, flying squirrels, butterflies, bears, cougars, mountain lions. They're different, okay? Um, uh, slugs? Olympic National Park is a much alike of that person in your life that you discover something new every other day. I have been married to my wife for years. I think I know her and understand her and then all of a sudden, the next day, she's speaking French. Where did that come from? And she'll say to me, you don't get me all at once. It's gonna take some time. And that's Olympic National Park. You sit back and go, all right, I'm gonna learn something new. Can't wait for the surprise. Bring it on, show me something new. This is me trying to explain Olympic National Park. This is one of the few national parks that has ocean, mountains, lakes, and the greatest ecosystem you can imagine, all in one park. There are more hiking trails in Olympic National Park than any other park. My favorite, Miramar Falls, and let me tell you why. The hike is one and a half miles round trip, and I thought this is gonna be a piece of cake, so we took off. It was so beautiful, it was so secluded, the canopy was so comfortable. I could have been on that trail all day. These are my favorite trees. The genes, or whatever it is that makes them grow perfectly straight. I just love that look of perpendicular tree after tree right next to each other. That hike up to Miramar Falls is pure seclusion. Oh, so beautiful. It's easy going, that's the kind of hike I like. If you enjoy those kind of hikes, giddy up! And of course, when you get to the falls, you're going, I just might stay right here. This is something I wasn't planning on. So what do you think of Olympic National Park? It's gorgeous. It's amazing out here. And sure enough, it was worth every minute of getting here. There are times when you're hiking when you want that solitude, you want to be alone, you want to be with your thoughts. When you get to the top of these peaks, you're having such a great moment. And you don't mind the fact that you're not alone. What do you have there? Well, it's just a rock. That's what kids do, they pick up rocks. <laughs> They're not just a rock. And throw them. Now that is what kids do. Chick, chick, chick. Chick, chick, chick. You know when you're on that drive and you're heading someplace, you know it's gonna be great, and then you look off to the side, you're going, what? I can't believe this is here. Well, that's what it's like here in Olympic National Park. We're on our way from the waterfall, and sure enough, there's the beach. We got there, we saw the sun going down, we're like, we're staying right here. Finally, it was pitch black and we realized, okay, it's over. Here's my suggestion. That person you're trying to get to know, take them to the beach. It's 62 miles of undeveloped coastline right there in the National Park. And I can't even begin to tell you how stunning the views are. Did I say stunning? Let me say magnificently, extraordinarily unbelievable. the genealogy of that root system. The best part of my relationship with my wife is we keep surprising each other. And that's how I feel about Olympic National Park. I can't wait to come back because I'll get here and I'll go, all right, what do you have for me today? I know you're going to show me something spectacular. You always do. That's Olympic National Park. You can get to know the park and them together. It's like two in one. You can't beat it. It's like, it's like a Twinkie. Okay, it's not like a Twinkie. It's like a Twix. I can see where we're going. Out there. Oh, we 
Don't litter in the national park. The ecosystem goes from the mountains to the oceans. You can get whales, otters, on some big mammals. It's like meatloaf. He was a terrible singer. Beavers, did I mention beavers? And the elusive human being. It is cool. It's worth taking your family and friends and people you don't know and sketch and uh, I don't know. There it goes. It's like your mother's meatloaf. You know, ground hamburger, onions, and, and ketchup on the top with a little bit of seasoning and stuff. What are we talking about anymore? Because I just want to go eat some meatloaf. Big slugs, um, um uh, ants, you know there's ants. They're taking over the world and they're the ones to watch for. Ants going up your leg and in the middle of a conversation all of a sudden you're being bit in places you'd rather not be bit in. All right.